In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the armature in a Makita grinder. The armature is the main component of your grinder's motor. It consists of the wire windings, the commutator, the cooling fan, and two bearings. There are several common problems or failures with armatures, one of which would be burnt windings. When the windings overheat and get burnt, it's not uncommon to see burning on the wires themselves or the insulation around the wires. A worn or damaged commutator is another common problem. Oftentimes, the commutator bar, or more than one bar, will break away from the commutator. The cooling fan can be easily damaged if a piece of metal or other debris gets into the grinder. It's not uncommon to have several of the cooling fins, or even all of the cooling fins, torn away from the fan. If this occurs, the motor won't properly cool. It'll quickly overheat and cause damage to the windings. And of course, any bearing will wear over time and need to be replaced. Replacing the armature assembly is easy to do, and I'm gonna show you how. Armatures, as well as many other parts, can be found on our website. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the side handle and the guard. The gearbox housing is held in place with four screws. I'll go ahead and remove those. Now I can remove the rear housing. It's held in place with a single screw. Now I'll move the brush springs to the side of the brush holder. This will remove the tension from the brushes so they're not pressing against the armature. I'll do this on both sides. With the tension removed from the brushes, now I can go ahead and remove the armature assembly. Now I'll remove the drive gear. It's secured with a nut. Now remove the front armature bearing and the gear housing cover from the armature. To do that, I'll place the cover in the open jaws on my vise. Then using a rubber mallet, I'll tap the armature shaft away from the bearing. Now I can install the gear housing cover assembly back onto the armature. I'll seat the bearing back onto the armature shaft using a socket that has a diameter the same as the diameter on the inner bearing race. Now I can reinstall the drive gear and secure it with the nut. Now I can install the armature assembly back into the grinder. I'll reinstall the gear housing assembly to the motor assembly and secure it with the four screws. Now reposition the brush spring back over the brush. Now I'll slide the rear cover back over the motor housing and secure it with the screw. And I'll finish up by installing the guard and the side handle. 